She's going to be mad at us, but here we go. Oh, we're only 20 minutes oh. late today. All oh, right. Well. Okay, it looks like we're live. Hey, it looks like we're live. Who? Oh, oh, hey. Hopefully we are. Hopefully we're live. Let's uh, take a little peek here before we get started with today's show. Make sure that we're actually live on the old Facebooks, on the interwebs. And it looks like we are live, live I on the interwebs. It. And yep. uh, yes, that's good. Yep. All right, folks. So today we're going to be doing our little podcast recording. And it's going to be a simple way to get new YouTube clients. And uh, we did a webinar last night. We actually touched on this at the end of it. Um, a three-hour marathon webinar that we did last night. And, uh, yeah, from 8 o'clock until 11 o'clock at night. And Steve's already, his eye is twitching just thinking about that. So it was a lot of fun. But we're going to talk about something that we talked about on that webinar because I think it's uh, a good topic for anybody that's looking to get YouTube clients. And uh, so we're going to discuss that a little bit and, uh, you know, maybe a few other things as well. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Boy, I've got, you know, <clears throat> I'm having good luck uh, ranking Ooh. videos. Oh, good. And then we'll driving phone that. calls. Yeah. That's what we like. We in like ranking in videos. Google. We like driving phone calls. In, in Google. 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 Hey, you know, right. well, we'll t Google. let's start yes, the show before. and we can talk. I, I found out <clears> something <throat> new in YouTube, by the way. Oh, all right. So we'll talk yeah. about YouTube news. We can then. talk that. Yeah, maybe we start off the show. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's do it. We're here to get, do the show, so let's do a show. Get me right. out of the way. Here we go. <laughs> okay. In five, four, three, two, one. On today's episode of Video Marketing Madness, we're going to discuss a simple way for you to get new YouTube clients. And today's episode is made possible by... Movo Photo. Movo is the creator of amazing products for shooting videos. We're talking about things like microphones and even stands. I actually ordered a, a new mini tripod that's going to be coming uh, in the next couple of days. I'm really excited about that one, and I'll, I'll tell you why later maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for that one to get here. But they also make great things like lights for your phone and stands to use your phone as a camera and all sorts of other really cool items. And uh, I'm staring right now, Steve, at a new item that I just got called the WXR10. And the WXR10 is a, I should have taken it off so people could, could actually see it, but it's way over there now. It's a, a little mini, uh, what they call a vlogging mic. And Rode makes one as well. They're, they're just a yeah. little microphone, a little shotgun microphone. You stick that on the top of your camera, your DSLR, or in my case here on the PR1 so that you mm -hmm. got your phone and that's right on top of it. And it makes Perfect. a great microphone picks up sound really really well like i said there's a, there's a one made by road and um the road one they said is too weak it, it doesn't you know it doesn't pick up as well and, and this one's actually a lot better for about half the price so you can What's pick that cost? up uh i believe it's uh, i believe it's like 39 dollars right now something okay. like that and you can yeah, check it out got, and you, find out for oh, sure sorry well go ahead steve yeah. what do you got to say there no you got a you got a video on that that you put out this morning on facebook and uh, that I that do, was yes. my question i was going to ask you about oh was good logging mic so anyway yeah no it's a, it's a very it. good microphone I've, i shot the last few videos that i've been doing with that because quite honestly while i like lapel mics i mean it's so much easier to just have that sitting there and you don't have to you know, get the lapel mic up your shirt. And if you're wearing a t-shirt, you got to pinch your shirt and it looks ridiculous. And, and so I really like this little vlogging mic, you know, cause I can st I only stand three feet away from the camera when I'm, when I'm doing stuff three or four feet away. And so it's uh, it picks up really well. It has a nice sound, comes with a, a, a dead cat filter. If you don't know what that is, it's that big fluffy thing that you put on your microphone when it's windy out. So you can go oh. outside and you can carry it around and get some great shots. You can check it out, by the way, by heading on over to pocketvideopro.com slash VXR10. And you'll be able to not only get that microphone, but you'll also be able to get all sorts of really cool bonuses, including some extra footage to use in your videos, some sound and music, and some other goodies as well. So check that out at pocketvideopro.com slash VXR10. And of course, they've also got lapel microphones and, and wireless microphones and a whole bunch of other great things as well. And if you go to pocketvideopro.com, you'll be able to see some of those on there. So check it out. They are a great company to work with. I've become pretty good friends with the owners of it. And, uh, you know, I just keep uh, ordering more stuff. So you guys need to order stuff so I can make commissions off of that because I'm wasting a lot of my money and need to recoup some of that back. So get out there and buy some of that stuff, folks. Yeah, All right. Maybe. That's the most direct we can do. So with that... Uh, we're just going to hit the, the music and, you know, 
get the show on the road. So here we go. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, I'm Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. And has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And it's the radio show about video, video marketing madness with Ray the Video Guy. And I'm Steve Sleeper, and our homepage is GoVM. Go vmm.com. You can get social with us. You can subscribe on the podcatchers. One simple way to get new clients, and this is YouTube or video clients, right? Yes. So this is this is for YouTube, and we're going to talk about a way that we've been getting new clients. And uh, but Steve, you know, there's a lot of things going on at YouTube. They've made some changes lately. It seems that uh, every time I log into uh, AdWords, there's new changes going on. They've, they've got the new YouTube Studio beta version that's your you log into in the back end, which by the way, not a big fan of yet. Uh, looks nice, doesn't work very well. I still go back nope. to the Creator Studio, but you had something interesting to say about YouTube, did you not? Yeah. Um, I've had pretty good luck ranking my videos in Google um, and um, getting getting leads from it. And one of the tools that I use to do that is Synlab, which is uh, from Josh Samore, which you were selling at one time. Which, and by the way, you- I got a message today. I haven't read it yet. I saw it in my email that he's making some major changes. So uh, you'll probably get an email on that. But I don't don't know what those changes are. But I know that there's some big changes coming because I saw the email right before we went on the air. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well, you know, one of the things that you can do is uh, syndicate your um, your you can syndicate your uh, the link to your YouTube videos trying to figure out a way to say this uh, you can create backlinks by putting it out right. to all the uh, bookmarking sites social media sites blog sites uh, in Synlab and one of the functions that's in there is you can also syndicate the videos so you can feed it out to to Daily Motion. They used to have one for Vimeo, but they don't have it anymore. And then also YouTube. Well, guess what I found out just recently on the last two that I syndicated the video out. You got to syndicate a video with a backlink to YouTube and Daily Motion. Right. YouTube knew it was duplicate vid. Wait, say Even that again. I, YouTube knew it was a duplicate video. Somehow they knew. So I create a video called Best DUI Lawyer in Jackson, Mississippi. I put it on the attorney's page. And then when I syndicate it, I put it on the attorney's YouTube page, excuse me, YouTube channel. And then when I syndicate it, I take that video and send it out to another YouTube channel with a backlink to the original video on on the attorney's YouTube channel. Making sense so far? Mm -hmm. And it changes it up a little bit automatically. And um, I noticed that a couple videos that I sent out just dropped like rocks. They were on the top of page two to begin with, and then nowhere. And and then they came back, but it, it just felt kind of weird. It was more than Google Bounce. So I went in and looked at the, the secondary channel where I created the backlink, uh, the secondary YouTube channel. In both instances, it said, nope, you can't post this. It's a duplicate video. So, hmm. um, remember, does that, does that make sense? Changes apparently yeah. are afoot. Yeah, that should not be a duplicate video, but. Yeah, so when, hmm. when, you're, when you're doing your syndication and when you're doing your backlinks, uh, don't send one to, to YouTube. They don't like that. Or just come up with a totally different video, I guess, and send it out and then put the, put the, uh, put the URL for the original video in the description, and then I guess that would work. Um, yep. Indeed. The, the other thing, that, you know, one of the reasons, too, I'm having uh, good luck uh, getting my videos ranked is I create three of them, three totally different videos. I spin the copy, and I change them up dramatically enough, and then I get in that three-pack, <clears throat> or the carousel, whatever you want to call it, on page one and uh, sometimes it stays there sometimes it doesn't but more often than not it stays there yeah no that's it that's a good way to do it 
And anything we can do that can help us to, uh, you know, to help our clients is always a good thing. One more thing. All right. If you syndicate to Daily Motion, you've got to be a patron now. You have to qualify for revenue share. Interesting. Otherwise, they don't let you upload videos. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess they got to yeah. do something. They're, they've they've lost their uh, their share, you know, of of the video market. So they're doing things to to change it up a little bit. Well, what I've done is I'm I'm just you know I'm syndicating out to all the bookmark and social media sites, and then I got quite a few blog sites in there, and I spin, you know I put the spin to copy in there, you know the uh, it, because uh, SynLab will just send out you know they'll you know they'll send a different set of copy to Blogger and WordPress and you know, all that kind of thing if you do that, and then I just manually upload it to Vimeo with a backlink. I figure I'm good. That's all I need to do. So Vimeo kicks you out because they like to do that. But. No, they've been pretty good with me. Yeah, but I know they like to do that, but they've been pretty good with me for some reason. Maybe it's just yeah. because I, I manually upload it. I don't know. I opened up another account in Vimeo, and a couple weeks later they you know, sent me a message saying they shut it down on me. I don't know why. Well, that's because, that's because you're Ray the Video Guy. I guess. Could be. You, Vimeo doesn't you like are. Me. You are an important video ranking dude, whereas I am just lowly Steve Schlieper. Indeed you are. Indeed yes. you are. So, speaking of all of this client stuff, let's talk a little bit about YouTube and how you can get new clients by using YouTube. And, you know, this is something that I've been doing for a while, and that's why I wanted to share it here where more people will uh, will hear it freely. We've, we've talked about this on some webinars in the past, but uh, I think the general public needs to hear this one because I think it can be very, very powerful. In fact, uh, as I said in a webinar that we did last night, that you know when we've used this particular technique with our lawyer clients, we've never had one tell us no. So it's worked every single time. Uh, now again, that's a small sampling. That's not you know hundreds of different people to test it against, but you know a dozen or so, and, and they've always gone for this. And what we do is what's called a YouTube evaluation. So we go into YouTube and we actually record a video showing their entire YouTube channel. So we go through and we point out all the things that they're not using or things that are done incorrectly that can be improved and why we would want to improve them. So we go in and we look and we say, okay, you know, this is your YouTube channel and you can see there's, you don't have a banner on the top and you don't have links in the banner in the top over here. You don't have a description in the about area. And then I'll actually bring up a, a channel that's well put together and I'll compare the two and I'll say, as you can see on this channel, they've got a banner up at the top that has their information. They've got links to their website here. If you go to their about section, it's filled out with all this information. They've got an email. They've got, uh, you know, the links inside of there. And then we go into all the different parts of that. So we look at the, the channel itself and we say, you know, uh, one thing that you can see on this really good channel is that it's got a trailer video. And I explain to them what's a trailer video, why it's important. And then I show them how it's missing on their page. And then I'll go through and show them the rest of the page and say, you know, you can see here, these guys have used what's called sections. And so they've broken it out into different important topics and all the videos that fit those topics are nicely organized on the page. We go back into their page and show them how those are missing and why they should really have them in there. And that makes a big, big difference when we try to approach them and say, hey, you know what, we want to optimize your YouTube channel. And they're just like, ah, I don't know, I don't know, do I need you to? When we go through and we show them all of these things, then they tend to, you know, get really excited about this and understand the possibilities. And by the way, when there's somebody that we're working with, you know, we take this a step further and we actually get access to their channel, go into the back end and continue to show them some of the back end things. So you, as you can see here, you're not a partner channel and we're going to make you a partner channel if we help you out by doing this and you don't have custom thumbnails and you don't have uh, a custom URL and you don't have this and you don't have that. You're not set up properly here. You don't have a, a, a watermark on your videos. And so we go through and we share all of these different things with them so that they understand, okay, this is what a good YouTube channel has 
this is what we don't have. And of course, we like to point out, you know, the good things as well. So for instance, if they happen to have a good background banner, we want to point out the fact that like, hey, you got a background banner, you know, that puts you ahead of most people as it is. But here's some of the other things that are going on there. Because you don't want to insult anybody, but you want to make sure they understand that they're missing all these things that not only, you know, that they don't even understand what it is. They don't even understand it exists. And so we want to make sure that they understand that we know it exists, we know why it's important, and why we want to be able to do that for them. But we want them to see all of these different things that are missing from theirs so that they're wanting to work with us on that. Now the second thing that we do with that is we go into their videos. And this is where it gets really exciting because we can go into most videos that people give us. When, when, you know, when we find a, a client that has a YouTube channel that we haven't done work on, the videos are going to be awful. They're going to have terrible titles. They're going to have like no description and you know, probably zero tags and guaranteed they're in the wrong category. And so we can go through those videos and we start it right up at the top and we're like, hey, you know what? This is a really good video, but nobody's going to see this video because you don't have a title here. What you want to do is you want to have a good title that has a keyword in it. And we'll even give them some ideas of what, you know, a keyword rich title on that would be, uh, how you can brand that. Then we'll go into the description and we'll actually explain exactly what needs to be done on every video. And the idea here is, you know, some people will say, well, if you go in and you show them all of these different things, aren't they just going to go and do it themselves? And the answer is no, they're not. Um, as much as they could, they're not going to. And we go through our, um, and I forget the, the number on, 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 our, um, on our channel checklist, I believe it's an 18 point checklist. And in the videos, it's like a 30 point checklist or something like that. And I go through the 30 things that we do with every video that they're not doing to make sure that it shows up as best as possible in Google search and in YouTube search. And so we go through and we talk about the title and, and what, what the title should be and, and why it's not going to be helping them the way it is. We go through a description and show them, you know, hey, you've got your description literally is just, you know, three words here, but you don't have a link back to your website. You don't have, uh, an, um, you know, anything about your business. You don't have any description of the video itself. You don't have your name, your address, your phone number. You don't have, you know, links to your Google My Business page, links to your Facebook, links to your Twitter, whatever other types of accounts that you have and show them on a good video all those things that are in order on that other, you know, that other channel's video where it's all done properly. We go through the tags and explain what the tags are and why they're there and why they're important and mention, you know, hey, you don't have tags here, but these are some of the tags you would want to put into these videos. It's going to help you to not only be found, but it's going to help you to be discovered, you know, to be put into the suggested videos and, you know, all the different benefits of having all those things set up. We'll often pull in information from TubeBuddy and show them that, you know, they, they don't have anything done and, and it'll show the little red X's next to all the different things. And we talk about, you know, how to interact with people on the channel and whatnot. And this just allows us to really showcase to people, hey, there is so much you could be doing in YouTube that you're not doing. And we know how to do it even if you don't. And believe me, you know, even if, even if we give them that list of things that need to be done, they don't know where to go to do it. They don't know how to do it. They don't know where to find the different things that will help them set up. So this allows them to go in their head, you know what, it's going to be a lot easier to pay this guy $1,000 to get this done than it is to, you know, try and figure it out afterwards, to look at all this stuff and try to figure out, okay, well, where does this go? Where does that one go? Where does, you know, where do I find this, this watermark that they're talking about? How do I add my Google AdWords? You know, because we go through all of that stuff as well. We show them how they're not using end screens and we show them what end screens are. We show them they're not using cards. And then we show them what cards actually are. We show them in the back end how they're not connected to their AdWords account, how they're not connected to their website and kind of go through some of that. We don't really show them on the website stuff because it's, you know, it gets a little bit complicated and, and it be more confusing than anything else. But we show them that it's not there and that we know how to set that up so that it, it properly does work. And so all of these things just allow them to understand what it is they're lacking, what it is they need and why they need it. So that they hire us for, you know, usually what we charge is about a thousand dollars to go in and do that manually to set up all those different things with our 30 point checklist, as well as to set up some of the videos with our video checklists. Um, and that just really, you know, it, it really helps to, to lay the foundation for them. So when we say, here's what we're going to do, and this is the price, they're like, yeah, you know what, that makes a lot of sense. Let's do it. And as I said, when we've done this for our legal clients, every single one that we've done that for has said, yeah, let's do that. And they've paid the money for us to go in and do all of that work and set things up properly. 
Uh, now, the fun thing is, the website, by the way, the channel that I use as an example, if you ever want to do this, if you ever want to create one of these, and by the way, we just do a screen recording. So this is all done on video. So make a nice video for them. We package it together. We send that video out to them so they can watch it and see exactly what we're talking about. But the, the channel that we use all the time, Steve, do you have any guesses as to what channel we might use? It'll surprise Darryl you. Leaves. Probably. Daryl Eves. No. Ray, no. The video My guy. goodness. No. Heck no. We use Gillette. Um, Gillette. Gillette. And the reason is, if you ever is, check now, out... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't that the best a man can get? That is the best a man can get, which is why we use it. It's the best a man can get. Even if you're a woman, it's the best you can get. So, uh, no, we use that because they actually do a very, very good job of setting up their channel, unlike... Um, you know, uh, m most other channels out there. In fact, uh, you, you mentioned Daryl, and Daryl's talked about this before, and uh, maybe this is why Gillette was in my head as well. Who knows? I'm not sure what made me choose Gillette in the beginning, but I just know that they happen to have a very well-done channel. But Gillette, uh, if you remember, you know, everybody remembers Dollar Shave Club and the videos that were going around, and they were very popular viral-type videos, you know, with the guy busting through the walls and, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff. It was actually paper. It wasn't even a wall. But, you know, he was doing the this kind of outrageous uh, video for his razors. And, uh, you know, with the, the, the Mexican guy, what were you doing last time? Not having a job. What are you doing now? Having a job, you know. And, and people loved that video. But um, when you go back and look, you know, even though the, that one video was huge, Gillette was dominating those guys when it came to YouTube marketing just absolutely crushing those guys and they weren't getting the mainstream press attention because they didn't have that outrageous video that had gone viral and everything but overall with just the number of people watching the number of people using their channel the number of pe people using the tips on their channel they were absolutely crushing those guys uh, and so that's kind of how it got on our radar because they do they they do a lot of you know different tips and tricks on how to use razors, how to do certain types of beard types, and and you know just a lot of fun stuff, educational stuff, commercials, uh, in the community videos. So they showed like some of the things they do in the community to help people. Uh, so it's just a lot of really cool stuff in there. Now we'll put aside the whole uh, you know toxic masculinity thing from a couple weeks ago, which you know made me stop using Gillette products, but I still use their channel. Uh, because it is good and it's a great example of that. And there's a lot of other examples we've used. Uh, we've used the Tonight Show. We've used Saturday Night Live a few different times for some of the things. Uh, Conan O'Brien, because they, oh, well, those guys use um, a lot of. They they do pretty well with end screens and cards and things like that. Steve, you got something to say on that? Yeah, you know the toxic mas masculinity thing. I found that so offensive. I quit shaving. I know you're uh. right. I didn't. I, I you know what I did. I started buying Harry's razors instead, um, oh. which, by the way, I really like those. They're yeah. very inexpensive compared to Gillette. Uh, the only problem is I have to go into Walmart to get them. So. Oh yeah, Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. I won't go there without my wife because I just I don't know where anything is, and and I get. I, I love home. Walmart as long as I'm not the one who has to go and shop there. Usually, it, yeah, you know, right, right. If if someone's going to go and shop for me, uh, I, I love it. I don't want to have to go in there most of the time, but. Um, yeah, they, they're the only ones around that I know of that, that sell Harry's razors right off the shelf. And so uh, the only problem is, by the way, and, and this is the shaving hour with Ray and Steve. Yes. Um, they don't seem to have the refills there, though. They only oh. have the, the package. And so, uh, you know, they, they have the handle with a couple of razors in it, but they don't have the, just the refills, and, which is kind of strange. Crazy. But, yeah. yeah. I guess Harry's, you're supposed to order them online anyway, but... <clears throat> anyway, the point Anywho. being is that Gillette does a really good job with their channel. It's a great example to use, um, but there's a lot of other great examples out there as well. But if you want a, you know, a quick one, an easy one when you're doing these, that would be the one to, uh, to use, at least in, in my book anyway. And yes, Steve. So why did you do the webinar last night? Are you selling a course on this or something? Or? Uh, no, actually, uh, the webinar was actually um, just for you know all of my insider folks, past customers. We were just discussing um, how to get lawyers as clients. Oh. And so we went through some of the things that you can offer and how you can work your way up to a, a six-figure business with helping these lawyers do YouTube ads. And so it was mm -hmm. all about YouTube ads and, and, and the lawyers. And so that's why we talked a little bit about this because you want to get in, in with them. And in order to get in with them, you're going to want to start by doing their YouTube channel, getting it all set up, and then running ads in the months you know, following that. And so 
That's so kind of where we stand with that. The 18-point and 30-point checklist, you could probably get that from TubeBuddy, then, if you're a subscriber. Uh, nope. Oh. You cannot. They they oh. have um, they have some their own checklist, but it's not my checklist. My checklist is different. So uh, did you make that checklist available last night? Why, I certainly did, Steve, and I can make it available to everybody else, too, if we want. You're okay. We'll put it in the show notes. I don't care what your wife says about you. You Carrie, I don't care what what you say about Ray. He's okay. You think she's listening to this show? (laughs) (laughs) No. Um, (laughs) What uh, what what's the link? Well, I don't know. I'd have to make one. Oh. (laughs) Do you think you'll ever get around to it? (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. We'll put. We'll get around to it. We'll get it in the show notes. It only takes me about three seconds to put it together. In fact. uh, as I stall right now, I can actually, uh, you know, just keep chattering while I put it together. And, uh, wow. you know, by the end of my mumblings and my ramblings, we might actually even have one ready to go. And it's just a matter of whether I can ramble long enough and keep concentration while I'm speaking and while I'm typing in order to uh, to get that all ready for everybody. So if we want wow. that, then I can actually put one together. And, uh, you know, once we have it, I can give it to you guys and... Uh, you know, uh, you're, I'm trying to write you're the word too checklist much. here. <laughs> you're, you're too much. You know, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. I want to be a storyteller like you. I, That's I right, a storyteller. I, I could have been a a, uh, a professional wrestling uh, uh, manager, you know, with all of yeah. my loudmouth antics. I have uh, a hard time describing the color of my shirt, you know. It's just it's, I know, right? Yeah. yeah so, just, yeah. all right, I've got a I've got a link together, but unfortunately, you're not going to like it because it's uh, you know, it doesn't make any sense. It's s o w l dot c o slash capital P lowercase h capital X capital I and a six. Okay, do this. Uh, PM PM me that link in Facebook, and I'll get it in the show notes. I will definitely do that. In fact, it is already done as of right now. So if you're watching this in the future, we'll have that in the show notes. I just heard it. Yes, you I did. Just heard that ding? Yeah, the you heard the that ding. PM I can ding. I can uh, you know r- ramble my way through something like that and put it together all in one shot without anybody slowing me down. Did you just get your hair cut? Uh, no, I mean, I did, you know, like a week ago. It's just okay. kind of, actually, it's kind of just a mess today, so it looks a little different, but. No, that, that with, with your uh, kind of haircut, you can keep it a mess. It's fine, you know, it just looks okay. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't tame very well anyway, so. Yeah, I'm, I need poor, a haircut. Look at that. Poor lady at the, uh, at the shop, she's like, she's like, well, in order to do your haircut, we're going to have to put like a ton of product in your hair. And I'm like, oh, goody, I can't wait. And so she did. She put, put a lot of it in there. That reminds me of something. Here's a story. Uh, we're getting off uh, task. Story here, time, folks. Here we story go. Story time with Stephen Ray. Hey, old why, Grandpa Steve. Why back in my days? Yes. So um, my grandson, Ben, is a lot like me. He's a goofball. and uh, Some he's people over would turn him away, you know. I know. Uh, and he's he's at uh, Thanksgiving dinner with Grandma and Grandpa Shent. Some people would turn him away. Okay, go tell the joke. I'm sorry. It's the the movie Ben, with Michael Jackson oh, singing the theme song. Come God, on, I haven't seen that in it. God, Some me. people would turn you away. Well, you got to be old to know that. I'm not. It's older than me. I know it. I wasn't it was even born. In the seventies. Yeah, I know. I mean, I went to see it. I think I was in high school. <laughs> and I'm I'm old. Look at my beard. Anyhow, so uh, Ben is. Uh, he he's over at Thanksgiving dinner with Grandma and Grandpa Shant, uh, the other you know the uh, paternal grandparents, and uh, Grandma Nancy uh, asked everybody to go around the table and t- say what they were thankful for. And there's they, the the table's full of people. I mean, there's a lot of people there, so they get to Ben, and Ben very earnestly says he's um, thankful for hair products and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and they were laughing so hard they couldn't they just they just gave up on going around the table saying what they're i'm i'm thankful for those things as well in fact i discovered yes. uh <clears throat> random thoughts with uh, ray and steve uh I actually you know what I, I i got to have the other day well you you watched my by the way i, I for those of you who follow me on facebook i first of all i apologize for most things but um <laughs> the other day i i kept this running 
uh, for lack of a better word, we'll call it a blog on Facebook there of my progress of making one of those uh, Facebook meals, you know, oh, those yeah. videos that show up on Facebook where people make <clears throat> meals really fast and, and whatnot. And it was a, a weird meatloaf, which I've been eating for the last three days. Uh, it's good. actually quite good. Came out okay. But uh, you use uh, the Baby Bell cheeses, those little round mm -hmm. cheese. Well, those things are good. Mm -hmm. That's a long mm -hmm. story to tell you that I really like the little blocks of the little wheels of cheese. Those are really good. I was like, my goodness, they call them snack cheeses. <clears throat> and they are quite good. So, yeah, check out that video. Good. Now, the, the, what, what you do, though, just very briefly, is uh, you have, you know, the meatloaf pan, and you put a layer <laughs> of uh, meat on, on the bottom that you've done the meatloaf thing with, and then you put the little bell cheeses in it, and then you put another layer on top, and it's all wrapped in bacon underneath right. top and sides. And the problem you had, and, and my wife was the first one to say is, that bacon's not going to cook on the bottom part, and you had that issue as well. Yeah, well, actually, you? though, you know, the funny thing is, is after... Um, after it kind of cooled down and, and whatnot, and I took it out and I kind of I could look at it, it actually was pretty good around there. It was pretty solid, pretty oh, solid little uh, okay. little thing. But yeah, in, in the video, <clears throat> somehow they, they made it all nice and it came out pretty good. Um, Always does. But I had to go in, I drained the, the grease out of it and then put it back in, and that way it kind of hardened the, you know, kind of cooked, crisp up the bacon a little bit better. But yeah, no, it's not bad. It, but there you well, go. The, That's the use of video. We're going to tie it right back because we're rambling, to and we're going to tie it to video. Meatloaf. You can make meals directly through videos on social media. So a lot of fun. One one last thing. You could just put the bacon on top. You could, but that would the defeat the purpose of it being a, a whole bacon I know, I know. wrapped meatloaf. Which, by the way, uh, if I can be 100% honest, I bought... Um, a meatloaf pack a while back where <clears throat> you it came with a little plastic bag and you made a, a meatloaf and you put the meatloaf in there and you put all these vegetables in the bag you sealed the bag and you cooked the bag uh mm. far less work and and actually was much better mm. so yeah. there you go yeah. but yeah. and i shouldn't say much better because this actually came out it was really good I've, I've enjoyed this this one but uh that was i remember doing that and it being very good so with a lot I'm just work. laughing because we got off off topic so easily. It's it's my fault. It's hey, my it's fault. Friday. I do that, I do that to uh, uh, I did that to college and high school teachers. I do it to my pastor at church. You know, uh, I guess you got to be willing to do that. So did now that's okay. Let, let Everybody who is who is listening has shut it off by now. Anyway, that's so right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Nobody's watching anyhow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Flash is like, hey, wait a minute, I'm here. Yeah, Flash. Hi, Flash. So, uh, did you get everything in on one simple way? We did, yes, plan? and and yeah, we we uh, I think we got everything in that we needed for for that particular uh, technique. But it does work really well, as I said. And uh, you know, we, we're going to have the link to the checklists so that you can go through them right there. And uh, oh, Timothy Wank says uh, I just don't get the two confused. Uh, so he's listening to our ramblings here. No. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so we got through that. That's what you want to do. You want to do these nice screen recorded, um, you know, evaluations of the YouTube channel. It works really well. It allows you to really showcase what should be done, how it can be done, and why they should do it. And uh, you know, it gets them. To, it gets that sale a lot easier. So exciting stuff. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Now, um, don't get that confused with bacon wrapped meatloaf. Don't get yeah. that. Yes, that's a different video. Mm -hmm. So. It's the radio show about video, video marketing madness with Ray the Video Guy. And I'm Steve Sleeper, a show made possible by... Who made possible by the wonderful folks over at Movo Photo. And as we've said before, they make a variety of really cool products. Uh, my studio is now filled with Movo Photo products. We've had their lapel microphones for years. I've used those things. I've sold those things. I've given them away to people as gifts. Uh, very, very good microphones for less less than twenty dollars. I mean, you can't go wrong with a wired lapel microphone that's less than twenty dollars that plugs into your smartphone or into a camcorder or into a DSLR or into your computer. So it does all of these things in one microphone that costs less than twenty bucks. And uh, that's just one of the great products at Movo. You can check out that particular one by going to pocketvideopro.com slash LV, as in victory, one. 
And you, when you go there to LV1, you'll be able to get not only the microphone for less than $20, but you'll also get our entire Pocket Video Producers Kit, which includes extra music and videos and other goodies to help make your videos even better. And of course, that's not the only thing that Movo has. They've got a ton of other things. In fact, if you go to raisebonuses.com slash Movo, that will give you their entire website where you can get all sorts of fun things from lenses for your DSLRs to microphones to lights to little stands. And as I said, I've got a mini tripod coming that I'm really, really excited about. It's uh, it's extendable from about, I believe, I believe it's from like, uh, you know, like eight inches up to about three feet. And it's just one pole with the three legs expanded on the bottom, so it doesn't take up a lot of real estate. And the reason that I'm excited about that is, you know, right now this camera right here is on my desk on a small tripod, um, but that's, you know, a traditional, you know, three leg tripod. And so it takes up a lot of space to try and, you know, fit it in there. Was, this is going to take up a lot less space. And this one's a little bit too high. I'll be able to move the mic, the, the camera down a little bit lower, uh, which uh, is good. This one's as low as it's going to go, and it's, you know, above my head length. So it's actually shooting down at me. This one will allow me to shoot a little more straight and get higher on the, the wall as well, which is good because uh, when we go full screen on the wall, you can still see the, the, the plug car cover over in the corner there and that's no fun we don't want people to have to see that and so that'll allow us to get a more even shot uh, right now you know with this here technically what we're doing is we're getting um, you know an inferior shot and what I mean by that is because your camera is higher it makes you inferior to the person that's watching you because they're looking down at you it's the opposite of what you see in horror movies where you see somebody looking up and you know and that makes that person seem more powerful. Well, this makes me seem weaker than the people that are watching. And so we want to kind of build that parity, get that camera down a little bit lower, and this will be able to help me out with that. Uh, and I picked it up today for, uh, I believe, uh, uh, $35 or $32, something like that. And I also picked um, I picked something else up at the same time, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was, a, oh, it was their, uh, their bigger LED light. So I have one of their LED lights over here, um, but this one here is, is a much bigger one. I've showed the, the smaller one before on, on the show, but uh, this one is a bigger LED light that uh, I'm excited to try out because that little one is pretty powerful for a small, you know, meant to be mounted on your camera sort of light for vlogging. Well, this one's a little bit bigger and I'm gonna try and put it onto a traditional stand and, and we'll see how that works out for us. Uh, maybe to replace one of my traditional lights there. And the LED lights are great because you can turn up and down the intensity of it without changing the color of the light. So, you know, with a, with an incandescent bulb, if you turn the power down in a dimmer, you'll notice that as you dim it down, it gets more orange. While these with the LED lights, you dim them down, they stay the exact same brightness, or not brightness, but the exact same color of white. It just uh, it brings down the intensity. So it'll be exciting to test that out. And that should be coming probably by Monday. So I'll get some new videos out showing those. But in any case, that's Movo Photo. You want to check them out. They are the ones who make the show possible. And you can check them out again at raisebonuses.com slash Movo. And have a lot of fun. See lots of great products on there. So it's Groovy exciting. stuff, Ray. You're Indeed. excited about Movo. I sure am. It's one of my, f it's my favorite you know, one of my favorite companies out there, my favorite uh, accessory company for my video shooting needs, especially with iPhones, because, you know, I, I had a meeting with somebody the other day and, and they asked me, well, you know, what, what camera do you actually use? And, and I started laughing and I said, I do all my stuff on my iPhone. And they didn't believe me at first. They, they thought I was joking, but no, I'm literally in my studio. I've got a green screen over here. I've got all these lights set up in here for this green screen. And then the camera that I use is an iPhone. And the reason for that is because I don't need a camera operator to make sure that everything is set up properly because I can I know it's going to be in focus. I can start it and stop it myself. I can see the, the camera while I'm shooting. So it just makes life a lot easier. And the quality is, as they say, good enough. So there you go. It, it is, especially if you got the proper lighting, it's good enough. Absolutely. Yeah. But with that, since we've rambled a lot here, Steve, I think it's time to hit that old music and get ourselves out here and start that weekend. What do you say? Sounds good to me. All right. Well, here it comes. The Funky Music He's Boys. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. He has so much knowledge that you need. His 
YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy.